Alright, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. We we're just about to cross-examine, um, Adrian again. So anyway, when I found the body. That glass of juice, I don't really recall. I don't really, I didn't really pour it for myself. I was surprised when I walked into the room and saw it in that messy state. And Juan, he was sitting slumped over and tired looking in the corner. When I saw him sitting like that, the thought that he was dead didn't cross my mind. To be honest, I thought he had just fainted or something, so I went to pour him some juice. When I realized that he was dead, that's when I knocked the flower vase over. That's bull crap, and we know the why. Alright, hmm, so you poured that glass of juice for the victim. Why didn't you say so in your te earlier testimony? I didn't think I needed to include something so trivial. Phoenix, please be careful here. If you can't find anything wrong with this testimony, then there is nothing left. I know. Edgeworth, what the heck is going on in that brain of yours? Now then, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Alright. And I found the body. I already know. Let's see. Okay. Glass of juice. I didn't really pour it for myself. I was surprised when I walked in the room and saw it in that messy state. One, he was sitting something over in the corner, tired looking. Alright. When I saw him sitting in the corner like that, I thought he was dead. It didn't cross my mind. That's bull crazap. Yeah, because if you saw someone like this, that? Yo, no, with a knife sticking out of his chest. No, he's probably just fainted. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. Epic finger point. So you honestly didn't think he was dead when you found him? No, not at all. Even though this is what you saw when you discovered the body? Him with a knife in his chest? Ah! W what is the meaning of this? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? There is a knife sticking straight out of Mr. Gorda's chest. Anyone who saw this scene would have immediately thought that here was a dead man. Uh, um, that's... well, you see... I doubt a single person in the world would mistake this for someone who fainted, and then so nonchalantly go to pour something to drink. Y your point is? Miss Andrews, your testimony just now was all just one giant epic finger point. Huh? And your epic finger point has proven one thing very clearly. That you are the real killer. No! No! It looks like the defense has somehow brought the ugly truth to light. The defendant, Mr. Madongarde, is not guilty after all. That... But that's impossible! You're wrong! Miss Andrews, try to have some composure. It... it wasn't me. It wasn't me, I tell you. It was Matt, I swear it. He's the one who killed Juan. But you were the one who refused to testify. And your epic finger point for not doing so was that you might end up incriminating yourself. Th that's because... Miss Andrews, I will give you one last chance. What exactly are you hiding that may incriminate you? I... I... I refuse to testify. Okay. Smack. Then there is no need for this court to continue any further. Mr. Madongardi's innocence has been clearly demonstrated. Is... is it... over? Have we... have we found the truth at last? What's wrong, Phoenix? Usually... Well, usually the real killer confesses her or her guilt. And now that I think about it, this is the first time someone hasn't. Smack. Now then, I would like to hand down my verdict for Matt on Garde. Objection! Objection! Okay. Your Honor. The prosecution feels that it would be premature to pass down a verdict at this time. Wh what? The reason is quite simple. My epic forehead demands this trial continue. This witness has yet to speak the absolute real truth. Yeah, that is a good point. Smack, smack, smack. The absolute real truth? What do you... Witness, don't you understand yet? Huh? I don't know who planted the silly idea in your head, but as long as you protect yourself through your silence, Madame Garde will go free, and in his place, you will become the guilty party. That... that's... that's a lie! I... I don't believe you! What? 
I, I was told if I spoke, if I spoke, then it would be all over, and Matt would never be declared guilty. What in the world is she talking about? Has she lost it? I, I can't speak about it. I'm too scared. It's Franziska von Karma. Huh? Don't you remember, Phoenix? Miss Andrews lives by gripping tightly onto the words of another. Because she doesn't have the strength to believe in herself. The, then, right now, Miss Andrews is... Yesterday, she was tossed a lifesaver by Miss Von Karma. Don't say a word, no matter what happens. If you do, Madame Garde will be acquitted. Miss Andrews undyingly believes in those words right now and is clinging on to them. Th then what should we do? This... This is the first time I've ever come across anything like this. Miss Andrews has to be the killer, right? All we have to do now is get our not guilty. That That's my only priority. It wasn't me. I'm begging you. Please believe me. I didn't kill Juan. Help. Please. Someone. Help me. Smack. Mr. Wright. Y yes, Your Honor. The court can't continue on like this, therefore I'd like to hear what you intend to do. What I intend to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? Right, I suggest you think very carefully about this. Think about what this witness did and what she did not do. And think about who would, who is the real mastermind behind this crime. Who is the real mastermind? Isn't that obvious? There's no one else it could be except the woman crying over there. Right? Come on now, what will you do? What kind of man are you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? That's not guilty. Force Andrews to testify. I want to hear this. I have to win a complete acquittal today. There's no way around that. But... I can't bring myself to do it like this. Not when she's making a face like that. Yeah, that dumbfounded, idiotic expression makes my... Really just... It just tugs at my heartstrings. Ah. Uh, let's force her to testify. Do it. Miss Andrews. I would like to know what you are really epic finger pointing. M Mr. Wright, what are you. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Sure, Mr. Ongarde would get an epic finger point, but in his place, you would be found guilty. Is this. Is this how you really want this trial to end? B be quiet. How dare you? You. You're trying to trick me. Smack. That's enough. I commend you for trying, Mr. Edgeworth. However, it's clear that the defense's theory is the truth. Y you're wrong. Epic, uh, f forehead cheese. I keep forgetting the word for it. <laughs> Such a shame. I had hoped things wouldn't come to this. However, w what is it, Mr. Edgeworth? Miss Andrews, since you are absolutely refused to testify, it falls on my shoulders to disclose this to the court. S Stop. Mr. Edgeworth? This witness, how should I put this? She has an illness. What? And because of this illness, she has tried to commit suicide in the past. S stop! Please stop! No matter how much you want to hide it, it's no use. I have the evidence right here. Ah! Th that's... That's the second part of the suicide report. The attempted suicide report. What will you do now, witness? You know what I am about to do, don't you? I will now reveal to the court the true nature of the pitiful woman known as Adrian Andrews. The secret of her codependent nature. Having other people know about it scares her more than anything else in the world. Please, please stop! I beg you! If people find out... If people find out, I... I'll... Huh. <laughs> Edgeworth is awesome. If you're gonna say I, you would choose death, that is of no concern to me. Edgeworth? How can you be so cold? And have such dashing good looks, whatever. <laughs> However, before you die, I will pull the truth from your be breathing lips. No matter what I have to do. So, will you tell the court about yourself, or should I lie? Either is fine with me. I... I'll talk, but please help me. Help you? What are, what are you talking about? N nothing matters anymore. My crime. 
When I first saw him, I really thought he had fainted, honest. When I realized he was dead, that was when I formulated my plan. Once I made sure there was no one in the hallway, I made a dash back to Matt's room. And then, I stabbed Juan's dead body with the knife and ripped off the button. Just when I finished and was returning to Matt's room, I had a bit of inconvenience. And that's why, that's why I ended up using the Nickel Samurai costume. Alright, stabbed the body with the knife? But why would you do that? Isn't it obvious to pin the blame on a certain person? A certain cowardly man. W what do you mean by all this? It might take this court a little while to understand, but... This is the truth. The real killer is Matt, that scumbag of a man! I'll never forgive him! He's trying to escape his guilt again, just like last time! Last time? So, Miss Andrews stabbed the victim, Juan Corda, in the chest with the knife. However, she didn't do it with murder in mind. She did it with the intent of framing Matt on Garde for the murder. And this, this is her crime. Huh. What? How is this possible? I mean, wasn't Miss Andrews supposed to be the real murderer? Mr. Wright, please get over your shock and commence your cross-examination. Alright, hey! Alright, my crime, or her crime, because I didn't do it. I didn't do a dang thing! When I first saw him, I really thought he had fainted, honest. Alright. But you could tell from the state the room was in that there must have been a fight. Are you telling the truth when you say that you did not know he was dead? He... he had a scarf tied around his neck. But that scarf is a part of the Jammin' Ninja's costume, so... I didn't think anything about when I... S so I didn't think anything about it was strange. His head was also tilted down a bit, so I couldn't see his face that well. That's why I thought I'd wake him up, and went to pour the juice. When I realized he was dead, that was when I formulated my plan. What plan? What is this plan you had? I knew right away that the murderer was Matt. I knew because one, he was going to expose Matt's weakest weak point in the world. So Matt did this to stop Juan and silence him for good. That's when I thought I should forge some evidence and pin this crime on Matt. So the forged evidence, forged pieces of evidence were the knife and the button. The first thing that came to mind was to plant the knife. All right. Once I made sure there was no one in the hallway, I made a dash right to Matt's room. Well, someone saw you then, didn't they? That was so you could get the knife, correct? The knife Matt used at dinner had his fingerprints all over it. I thought if I used that, then the police would certainly turn their eyes towards him. Matt was napping with his costume on at the time. I slipped in, took the knife, and returned to the scene of the crime. And then I stabbed Juan's dead body with the knife and ripped the button off. Ripped off the button. So you were the one to stab the victim with that knife. It gives me goosebumps to think about it now. What a horrible thing I did. But at the time, I couldn't control my own body. It moved on its own. Then when I stabbed Juan's dead body, I suddenly realized something. If I used the button somehow, I could make Matt look even more suspect. So you thought to rip one of the buttons off and then plant it in Mr. Angarde's Hakama. Yes, that's, when I, that's what I plan to do. Things never go, go that smoothly, do they? Just when I finished and was returning to Matt's room, I had a bit of an inconvenience. What inconvenience was that? An inconvenience? There was a woman with a camera at the ready, loitering in the hallway. I'm willing to bet my spikes it was a lot of <laughs> your spikes, your spiky hair. There was also a woman with a ray gun at the, at the ready, pacing back and forth. Uh, that's Miss Old Bag for you. I had already been caught and made into a big scoop for a certain weekly tabloid once. So I couldn't very well go out looking like myself and get caught again. Yeah, no kidding. And that's why that's why I ended up using a Nickel Samurai costume. And you were the one who prepared the epic finger point, weren't you? 